The Giants' new kicker for 2017, Aldrich Rosas, will get us started as off we go from MetLife Stadium. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that open things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. That one goes for 36 yards. I don't care how many times you tell the story, it never loses its luster for me. Doug Baldwin, undrafted, out of Stanford, and plays like a number one receiver should in the NFL. I don't care how you cover him. I don't care that his size isn't great. He's the one that typically comes up with the football. Absolutely. His roots go all the way back to Gulf Breeze, Florida, where he's from right on the water near Pensacola, and then, of course, to Stanford, and, boy, he's been good. Doesn't matter who you're rooting for in this game, the effort of the man with the football getting away from one and trying to turn forward and get some yardage, I really liked what he did there. Now it's Wilson. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The intended target, Doug Baldwin, and it's third down. They had a good chance to get the first points of the game on the board, but what a great job defensively getting a hand in there, knocking it away, and preventing that first touchdown. On third down, Wilson. And he finds Jimmy Graham. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Jimmy Graham, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on the opening drive. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. Here's Walsh now to kick this one off. It's a short kick, taken near the 18. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And the Giants ready to come out now. And the 40 at the 38 yard line. Three yards remaining here on second down. Shotgun now for Manning. And this is incomplete. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time. And it's third and short. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Manning going to try and throw on third down. Hard throw, incomplete. 
you absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. The fourth-year man from LSU, Brad Wing, to punt it away as he's on a... And a fake here, direct snap to the up man, and he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. Anytime a fake doesn't work, we usually focus our attention on the guys that were unsuccessful. But how about the defensive guys? They have to plan all week. They have to prepare all week. Special teams, they look like they were educated for that one. Educated on their toes and getting a big stop. Throwing is Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. And he's got some space here. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Wilson. He's going to go up top for the end zone and nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. Second and ten. It's Wilson again. Able to power through. Sheds a second man. He's building up some momentum, isn't he? And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Wilson now to throw on third down. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles